What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, the ASVAB coach, and we got ourselves a nice little treat here with a percent word problem. So, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you exactly how to solve this problem. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how to continue on and continue mastering this without all the stress and with all of that, you know, not knowing what to do, how to do it. We're going to get rid of all of that. I'm going to make sure that you're confident, calm, cool, and collected every single time. And here's exactly how you're going to do that. So for those of you that are in my program, you're going to go ahead and hop over to the website and the link is in the description of this video so you can find it. What you're going to do is you're going to hop on the website, log in to your arithmetic reasoning course. Because remember, your arithmetic reasoning course has everything you need to practice the right way and master these topics so that way you're ready on the test and not blanking out. So behind me, you're going to see right over here everything you have available to you for percent word problems. You have beginner lessons and mental math tricks, extra lessons, casual practice with video solutions, extra lessons, extra lessons, and then you have speed drills as well. So behind me, you see one of the lessons recorded, but now behind me, you're going to see one of the speed drills. So what speed drills do is they help you work on your timing. That way you're used to the timing on the test so you don't blank out, okay? How you practice and how you play needs to be the same thing. But here's the amazing thing about these speed drills. So let me go ahead and just go to this one, percent discount problems. So just like the ones that we're doing here, you can go ahead and tackle these problems, blah, blah, blah. And once you're done, bam, you submit it and notice that there's a timer up there to time you. But the best thing about this, my party people, is that no matter what you're learning, because if you look at the feedback report, oh man, I got this question wrong. Oh no. But look at what you see behind me. Look at the feedback for this specific question. I automatically program the solutions to every single problem, giving you all of the numbers that you need, all of the information and keywords, and I walk you through every single bit of it. Not just for one problem, for every single one. This is what acing the ASVAB looks like. It's making sure that you learn from every mistake and understand how to do things the right way under pressure. Not just when you're casually sitting down and relaxing, but being timed like the actual test. So this is the amazing thing about the program that my students have the advantage and luxury of using, and I want you to have the same. So if you're not in the program, the link to the program will be the description of this video. There's a quick two minute video for you to watch and see all the features, because there are tons of features that over a thousand students of mine have used to raise their scores and get the jobs they want. And so with that said, let's go ahead and show you how to do this one and then I want you to move forward with the program. Here we go. So, Matthew bought a printer for, nope. As always, you know how I teach. We start with the question, not the information. We want the goal, then the information, and then action. So here, how much did, he, did Matthew pay in taxes? Okay. So, with that said, let's, let's go and underline some things here. How much is what we want, so how much, and that's a dollar amount but we want the amount of the taxes right here. You need to pay attention to these keywords because even if you know how to perform percents and you know about tax and discount problems, well, there's a difference between being asked to find the final payment versus just the amount of the tax versus the beginning amount. They're different processes. So you have to pay attention to the keywords to know how to get that done. So since we're looking for just the taxes, we need to understand right here, since we want the taxes, we need to make sure that we know that the formula we use, the percent that we apply, needs to represent the tax. Remember, the percent you apply is the amount that you get. If you didn't know that, write that down with me right now. The percent, here's the key right here to this topic for percents, the percent you apply is the amount you get. It's, it's really that simple. There's a main idea for every single ASVAB topic. And right here, the percent you apply is the amount that you get. So with that said, if I apply the tax percent times the original amount right there, that's going to equal the tax amount. Again, if you apply the tax percent, 
you get the tax amount. If you apply the final cost percent, you'll get the amount of the final cost of this printer. So I hope that's starting to make a little more sense there. The percent you apply is the amount that you'll get. So as long as you put in the right number for the percentage, bam, that's gonna spit out the correct answer. So what's the tax percent? Well, that's actually given to us right there, 4% tax. So we'll put in right there, 4%. What's the original amount? Well, the printer was $109. So right there, 4% of 109. That's gonna give us the answer here, the amount of the tax. So now we just have to perform some calculations and we're done. Quick reminder, how do you convert a percent to a decimal? You gotta do that first. What you do is you'll take that decimal place and you'll move it to the left two times. One, two. Since there's a gap there between that decimal, you always put a zero in that place. So what we have right here, my part of people, is 0 0.04 times 109, and that'll be your answer. So I'll zoom on in right over here and get that done. 109 multiplied by 0 0.04. So 9 times 4, that's going to be 36. 0 times 4, that's 0. Bring that 3 back. We'll have 3. And then 1 times 4 is going to be 4. And so with that said, after you're done multiplying by that number, remember that with decimals when you're multiplying, you ignore the decimal at first, and then you bring the decimal back. So here we have 1, 2. So we bring back 1, 2. So the amount of the tax right here is going to be $4.36. And that is going to be answer choice A. So did that help you out? Did any of that help you out? Because at the end of the day, remember, it's about understanding and recognizing where we currently are and what we need to do to get to that next step, that next level of understanding. So that's gonna be different for everybody. So go ahead, in the comments of this video, please do me a favor and let me know, what was it that you did not understand well before this video that I did help you with after you were done watching? Do me that favor because I wanna know and I care about your success. So leave that comment right there in the comments of this video. That way I know if this is helping you out. And on top of that, don't forget to check out the ASVAB All Access program that comes with over 10,000 practice questions, lessons, recordings, live classes, and the ability to text me whenever you need help. I'm Coach Anderson. I got your back. Go ahead and check everything out in the description of this video. Leave a comment and let's keep facing the ASVAB. I'll see you in the next one, my party people. Let's get to work. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.